Hey guys. Welcome back to this video. I will teach you a simple order block trading strategy that you can use right now and become profitable. This has to be one of my favorite trading strategies. And honestly, this is the best strategy out of all the other strategies I have uploaded on this channel. If you don't believe me then watch this video and test it yourself. So without wasting any time, let's move on to the video. So we are going to use two time frames for this strategy. We are going to use the daily time frame and 15 minute time frame. So we are going to set our trades on the daily time frame and we are going to take and execute our trades on the 15 minute time frame. So these are the rules. On daily time frame, what you have to do is identify the order flow. Are we respecting the bullish PD Aries? Are we respecting bearish PD Aries? What are PD Aries? Those are the premium and discount areas. It could be an order block. It could be a free value gap. If the price is consistently respecting the bullish free price gap or order blocks and it is going up, then the order flow is bullish, so we have to trade in that direction. Similarly, if the price is respecting the bearish PDA risk, which would be the order block, fair value gap, volume imbalance, then the order flow is to be called in a bearish state. So we have to trade in that direction. So what is the strategy? For this example, let's say that the order flow is bullish. So you look at the chart. You come at the chart on daily time frame. Look at the recent price action. Where are we going? Are we going up? If you're going up, what you want to do now is you have to mark out order blocks below price action. Daily order blocks. And so they could be an order block here. Let's say, over here, right? And they could be a low form here. So want to use your fib from the low to the high. And let's say that the order block is somewhere here, okay? You wait for price to come back into discount and also touch the order block. So let's say there's an order block here, right? This line over here. Cool. And price comes back into the order block. Now, the order block could be above the 0 0.5 and some part of it could be down, right? In the discount. And it's absolutely fine. You have to look for market structure shift on 15 minute time frame when price comes back into the daily order block and make sure that price is below the 0 0.5 level on the daily time frame. Once price comes back into your order block, you drop down to 15 minute time frame and you want to look for a market structure shift during kill zone hours. This is very important. The market structure shift must happen during kill zone hours. And watch this very carefully. Price touch your order block outside the kill zone hours, and then price is going up. You cannot not take another trade until this low is taken out because now this is liquidity. If you think that price came back here and you, let's say, get a market structure shift outside the kill zone hours, and price could be going up. When the new kill zone session starts, this level becomes liquidity. You want to see a clean structure or a liquidity sweep. If that's the case, if there was a market structure shift outside kill zone hours. You want to see this low taken out, and then a refreshed market structure shift during kill zone hours, and you target 1 to 2 or 1 to 3. What are the kill zone hours? 2 a.m. till 5 or 6 o'clock. I would actually say 6 o'clock, right? 6 a.m. New York time. Now, that is your London session, and 7 a.m. till 11 o'clock 30 a.m. is your New York session. New York time. Notice what I said, you have price coming back into daily order block, right? You want to see a market structure shift happen during kill zone hour. Let's say price comes back into your order block. The shift in the market structure, as I said, should happen during the kill zone hour. It could be this or the New York session. If price came back and had a market structure shift outside the kill zone hours, then you would be looking for this low to be taken out, okay? Once that low is taken out and price is still in the order block. So I'm going to mark out the high and low of the order block. So let's say these two lines is a complete order block from high to low. Price must be in the order block. It cannot violate the low of the order block and then give you a market structure shift. If that happens then that is not a valid setup. Price must be in the daily order block. So you simply wait for market structure shift. Take your entry from the order block that forms on the every 3 minute time frame, 
your entry also must be doing the kill zone hours, and you look to target 1 to 2 or 1 to 3. Since we're looking at daily time frame, you can even go for 1 to 4. But I would suggest you stick with 1 to 3, or if you want to be really conservative, you can just go for 1 to 2. So this is the whole setup guys. Literally, you don't need anything else. You don't need other ICT concepts. This is what you need. You are following the trend. You are trading in the trend's direction. And that is literally it, guys. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do we spot a reversal? So let's say we are going higher on a daily time frame and the order flow is, let's say, bullish. How do you anticipate that the market is going to reverse from here? So what you want to do is you want to go to the weekly time frame and you want to look for a clear significant high. So let's say there's a significant high here on the weekly time frame. So if this level, this liquidity point is taken out, then you can anticipate a reversal. And it has to be a significant point. So enough with this thing over here. Let's get on with the examples. All right, guys. So here is for example, number one. I'm looking at Australian dollar to US dollar on the daily time frame. As you can clearly see that the order flow is bearish. Now what you have to do, what I would do is I look at the price. Let's say price is here. What I would do is I would mark out every single order block. Here is the thing. As I've explained this in my previous videos before, when you're looking at the higher time frame, which is our daily, what is an order block? It is consecutive bullish or consecutive bearish candles before a market structure shift. For example, let me give you an example right here. Right here, this bullish candle, it's an order block. Over here, this consecutive bearish candles, this is an order block. However, when we are looking at the daily time frame, we do not want to choose two candles. We want to only refine it to the last candle. As in as it says, an order block is consecutive bearish candles that take out liquidity, and then you have a market structure shift. So this right here is an order block. But on the daily time frame, we're going to choose this to refine our entry. And once we have a market structure shift on the 15 minute time frame, we are going to use the original order block. We are not going to refine it because we will miss entry most of the time. So remember on daily time frame, when we're looking for a price to come back here, we only were going to choose the last candle of the order block, right? And when we are on the 15 minutes and we get a market structure shift, we're going to choose the whole auto block as our entry. And order blocks are not wicks, it's only the bodies. So this is the body of the order block, so that would be your order block. Wicks do not matter. So as you can see, we have these two order blocks marked out. And as you can see, price went to our order block. So let's drop down to 15 minutes time from here and see what happened. This was the lower order block. We got no reaction here. This is the higher order block. So you can see we have a higher high, higher low, and then a higher high right here. So we take out liquidity, and right after that, we have a market structure shift. So how do you identify lows and highs? Clearly, here, lows and highs. There's this indicator, fractals, that I use. And if you go here, you can type in fractals, right? And it's by Rachel underscore T, right? So this is going to give you proper zones. So if this level breaks, that is your market structure shift. So you can use this. So I'm going to disable it for now. So right here, you can see, price didn't close below this low. So that was not a market structure shift for me. You can see we broke the structure, and that was during kill zone hours right there. What do we have here? We have this order block, and we also have this fair value gap. Right away, you can see if you took your entry from order block from here, absolutely fine. If you took your entry from the fair value gap, both are fine. Your stop would go right above the high, and you would simply look to target 1, 2, 3. And there you go. That is your take profit hit right away. So this is very powerful. If you find this setup, now here's the thing, okay? It's sometimes you are only going to find two to three setups per week. And that is looking at all the pairs, all the pairs except from here. 
so this was a beautiful example. The order flow was bearish on a daily. We looked for market structure during kill zone hours. That happens right here at 5.15. Then we get our entry at 7.30 or 7.15. And then the take profit was hit in a couple of hours. And we scored 1 to 3. Just go back test and please share your results in the comments because I want to see genuine feedback. I'll see you guys on next Sunday. Happy trading. Thanks for watching our video.